Hello, welcome to part two of the US acting shady rap. As always, ProPublica's got the receipts. This time, word doc track changes between US trade reps and health officials on a World Health Assembly resolution draft. A bit of background if you missed part one. There are only two products in the world with international recommendations to prohibit its marketing. One is tobacco, the other is formula. The warning dates back to 1981, after a report in the 70s showed that thousands of infants in impoverished countries were dying and getting sick after drinking formula. Fast forward to 2017, Thailand proposed a ban on all formula marketing, including for toddler formula a product that often promises to improve children's health. But according to some nutrition experts and health officials, can have hefty doses of sweeteners and sodium and offer no benefit over much less expensive cow's milk in most children over age 12 months. But despite Thailand's best efforts, the multi-billion dollar formula industry fought back with the help of a very rich and powerful ally, the US government. Like I said, ProPublica's got the receipts. Check out this wild exchange between the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative and the CDC as they argue over this World Health Organization resolution calling to limit the marketing and promotion of toddler formula. So here, we see that the resolution says that the promotion of infant formula can lead to decreased breastfeeding. But then, Jennifer Stratman, a U.S. trade official, crosses out the language about breastfeeding. In a comment, she says that there's no evidence that the promotion of infant formula is associated with stopping breastfeeding early. Then we got Jennifer Seymour from the CDC over here refuting Stratman's claims. Seymour comments that the language about breastfeeding should not be deleted. Then a Health and Human Services official chimes in agreeing with Seymour, saying there is significant evidence to support formula promotion is indeed linked with stopping breastfeeding early. Okay, now look at this paragraph. The WHO says that formula companies need to stop inappropriately promoting their food to infants and young children. But then US trade official Stratman comes back and strikes this out, saying that the language is too harsh and instead companies should just label their products. Look at Seymour's response. She says this change makes no sense. When all was said and done, the US and its allies ultimately persuaded nations not to endorse a resolution, but to welcome the guidance with appreciation. Um, what does that even mean? Some points US health agencies had fought hardest for were missing too, like the well-documented link between formula promotion and the early discontinuation of breastfeeding. And if that wasn't bad enough, US trade officials soon took up the formula industry's cause around the globe. Head to our link in bio to find out more about how the US government repeatedly used its muscle to advance the interests of multinational baby formula companies.